Hi, I'm Matt with Appliancevideo.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the water inlet valve on this Whirlpool freestanding ice maker. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. You will need the following tools before you begin this repair. A quarter inch nut driver. A defective water inlet valve will basically cause no water to get pulled into the unit to fill the pan to allow the water to come up over the evaporator. Typically what you're going to hear is when the fill valve is getting energized, you should hear some type of a hum coming out of it and you just basically look inside, see if water is actually coming through and going into the pan. And if you're not seeing any water coming in, then obviously you're not going to make any ice. So what you would have to do would just be verify that you're getting proper water pressure to the valve itself. As long as you're getting proper water pressure to the valve and you're not getting any water coming in, you want to verify that you got the proper voltage at the valve from the board and then at that point you'd know you'd need to replace the valve. To begin this repair, you're going to go ahead and open the door to gain access to the bottom access panel. Now we're going to remove our front access panel. You've got four quarter inch screws holding the panel in place. Once the screws are removed, and pull the panel off. Now with your front panel removed, you've got access to your water valve. We well, gotta remove the two quarter inch screws holding the valve bracket in place. Once the screws are removed, you can drop the valve down. Now we're just going to go ahead and kind of roll it out a little bit. You can disconnect your Molex harnesses. Then you're going to just go ahead and disconnect the two lines coming in. They're both quick disconnects. So you just push in, pull out, and you're just kind of depressing this ring with your fingers as you push in. Now we're ready to install the new valve. It's going to go ahead and start by connecting your Molex harnesses. and just hooking your supply lines up. Okay, and then just go ahead and roll it back up in. We're going to go ahead and reinstall our two quarter inch screws into the bracket. Now we're ready to go ahead and put the front cover back on. Now we're going to go ahead and reinstall the front panel. And 
you got your four quarter inch screws. And that will complete the repair on the Whirlpool Freestanding Ice Maker. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.